Hey, somebody told us there was a big fucking party going on out here tonight. Are we in the right goddamn place or what?
So nice to be back here in your part of the country, man. Thank you guys for inviting us to your fucking party tonight here. We appreciate it very much. For those of you who have no idea what the fuck you're looking at, we are Godsmack from Boston, Massachusetts. And I know one thing for sure, you would not be applauding me if I said we are Godsmack from the New England Patriots, Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> Let's start the fucking party off right. Hey, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna tell you, man. It's been a little while, you know? The world went through some fucking crazy times, so first of all, I just wanna say thank you guys for 25 years. This is our 25th year anniversary. And secondly, I'd love to be able to say it's so nice to see everybody coming to enjoy live events again with no fucking masks on your face, you know? <laughs> it's so fucking good, man. We've been waiting for this fucking, what are you doing here? You got a big chunk of cheese on your fucking head. Is this the thing that we're the most proud of here in Wisconsin, the fucking block of cheese on the head? That's the thing. That's the thing, okay. Fine, we're gonna go with that tonight. Bunch of stinky cheese people, fine. Let's just do it. Hey, we are here 
with a brand new record. It's been a little while, man. You know, as I said, the world got a little fucked up, but we are back and we have a brand new record out called Lighting Up the Sky. Hopefully a bunch of you guys have that so far. Because we just thought tonight, since we're going to have a big old party and play some music for this party, we're going to do some of the new shit for you guys. We're going to play a lot of fucking old shit for you, by the way. And uh, if we look a little bit older, it's because we are. Simple as that. It's been 30 fucking years since this band got put together, you know what I'm saying? I'm wearing fucking arm braces and shit. Tony can't see shit anymore. Robbie can't fucking breathe. Shannon can't hear shit. We're older, that's just what it is. The show is not gonna be fucking perfect, people. You know? But we're here to have some fucking fun with you. And if it's not perfect, it's only because this band is one of the few bands that are still on a goddamn stage that don't have computers running and playing with clicks and tricks and all this bullshit. We are an old school fucking rock band that still plays our fucking instruments. Wisconsin, let's fucking party!
Wisconsin, how are we doing so far out there? Okay. You know, I gotta tell you, I've been looking around tonight, just kind of watching what's going on out here with this audience. And although you look fucking great, and I can hear you loud and clear, we seem to be missing one element to this show tonight. The difference between rock shows today and rock shows back in the fucking goddamn 1970s and 80s when all we gave a fuck about was the music and the energy of the fucking fans in the room. So, we're gonna fix that. And we, are gonna make this place look like a fucking rock show is supposed to look like rock shows looked back in 19 fucking 85 when we were out there a part of you watching our favorite bands as I sit here and I look around at all these fucking beautiful people 
Mm. God damn, you guys get some good-looking fucking girls here in Wisconsin, by the way. Just saying. You got some good-looking girls, but I want to say, even the fucking men got some goddamn handsome going on tonight. You know? You guys are way up here in the cold weather, all preserved. I don't know if it's the fucking ice or what the fuck preserves you guys. You're all bearded up, fucking chest puffing. This fucking dude got muscles on his shoulders, which is, you know, it's a bit dramatic, I'm just saying. I don't know why we need muscles on this party, body. <laughs> Unless you're gonna hang a big fucking guitar like this motherfucker right here, yeah. You guys spending all that time in the fucking gym getting all puffed up, looking all fucking handsome, beards are all trimmed up, groomed. I know why we do it. You guys do it because we want to know where's our fucking ladies of Green Bay tonight in the audience? Oh yeah! See? Guys, they're out there. Sometimes they're a little small and us, we can't see them as well. So here's what you're gonna do. We're gonna give those big fucking muscles a goddamn job tonight. Cause it makes no fucking sense when you guys are in the gym for fucking nine hours a day lifting fucking truck, tra trailer fucking, I don't even know how to say it, tractor trailers and fucking goddamn fucking cows and I don't know what the fuck you guys lift in the goddamn gym. And then you go get a job working at fucking T-Mobile answering headsets and shit. Right? We're gonna give you guys a fucking job tonight, okay? You guys are gonna be a crucial part of making this arena look like rock shows used to look back in the goddamn 1980s. So all you have to do, I don't care if it's your girlfriend or your wife or your best friend, hopefully it's not your sister, that would be a little weird. But get these girls up on your shoulders, guys. So Godsmack can take a look at what Green Bay has for the female audience out there tonight. And let's make this place look like a fucking rock show. Let's go. Ladies, tell your man, put me up. There's a couple. Here comes three, four. Guys, this is not the time to be standing there with your arms folded trying to look cool. Assist your women, get them up on your fucking shoulders. It's only one goddamn song, you can handle it. You're putting up fucking 350 on the bench. Your girl probably only weighs 100 fucking pounds, man. Let's go. Here they come. Oh, here they come. What's up, ladies? It's starting to look like something here. Let's go, guys. Standing there with your arms folded, looking all fucking dumb. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Girls, I'm gonna give you a gift right now. We're gonna shut down all the production, okay? No more fancy pyro for a second. As a matter of fact, we don't even need these lights. Just let's go pitch black up in this motherfucker. Here we go. Now you gotta listen to my voice. I told you, I told you it's all about the energy, the music, and the goddamn best fans in Green Bay, Wisconsin tonight. Let's go. Wisconsin, if you wanna see us play this song, you light up this room tonight. Show us your fancy light show. Let's go. Light it up, light it up. Oh yeah, here it comes. Here comes Green Bay. Ladies, take a look around, man. This is all for you. This is what we call a God smack lit fucking ceremony. And here's what you're gonna do. Hey, I need your attention here, girls. We're gonna give you a gift right now, okay? When I wrote this song, I went through some fucking hard shit. So I'm gonna give this back to you. And you are gonna think about that one guy in your life, okay? 
That one, yeah, not that guy though. That's the wrong guy. That's the good guy. You're probably sitting on his shoulders right now. Not him. No. I want you to send this one out to that one motherfucker that stabbed you in the back one too many times. You know that guy, ladies? Him! Okay, Green Bay! Something right, something missing Something black, something light, something different Don't you ever feel you need to speak to me that way Something black, something light, something different Something wrong, something right, something missing Don't you ever feel you need to speak to me that way
play a new song? Are you ready for a new one? Green Bay! Are we ready for some new God's rap? This was our first single off our new record. It's a song called Surrender. And all I need you to do for me is raise your hands up high.
Thank you very much, Green Bay. Oh my God. Well, you guys came here to fucking party tonight. I can tell you that much. Shit, look at you all the way up there. All the way up there. So we're gonna do a song for you guys right now that we haven't played in a very long time. Actually, since back in like 2003, 2004, something like that. But it's a song that kind of grew up and has not only meant a lot to us, but has helped a lot of people from what we understand get through some very tough times. So we just want to send out some good energy into the room tonight. It's a song called Serenity.
you guys still with us? Green Bay, are you still with us over here? In the back. It's okay with you guys. You know you worked your asses off. You saved up your hard-earned money to come here and listen to us fucking babble. So your teachers and your bosses can fuck right off tonight, okay? We have plenty of time for that shit. Right now, What's important is that before I leave here, and before we go on to the next venue, somewhere else in some state, where the fuck are we going anyways? We're, really? Illinois? We're going to Illinois. <laughs> oh, we don't have any Chicago fans here tonight, huh? Okay, that's fucking interesting. That's interesting. Now you fed me information. I'm gonna capitalize on that shit. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do, Green Bay. This is that moment in the night where I get to ask you a couple questions and then we'll see how badass you really are. First question, and don't fucking lie to me. I hear the cheeseheads are liars. I hear you guys are bullshitters. Yeah, I hear you fucking fib. You're fibbers. So I'm just gonna tell you, don't fucking lie to me right now. I'm on your side. I just wanna know, honestly, only make noise if, 
It's your first time seeing God smack live. Let me see. Wow. That's a lot of people. Where the fuck have you guys been, by the way? God damn, we've only been out here for 109 fucking years. Shit. Where's all the God smack veteran fans? Show me those hands. Good. That's like a 65-35 split. Maybe, yeah, maybe a 60-40. I don't know. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. New fans, old fans, we're gonna blend that shit. And we're gonna get this fucking crowd so goddamn loud on the fucking finale of this song that they're gonna hear you in New York fucking City! So, do your job and do it fucking great. Show us that you got the heart. Show us that you got the heart of a live fucking audience. And by the way, let me just tell you one more fucking thing before I go while I'm in the mood to fucking preach. No matter how much this fucking country and fucking Earth evolves. Once again, I gotta tip my fucking hat off to you guys because you will never, ever be able to replicate the energy that you get from a live show through a computer screen. So thank you for being a part of the live audiences. Thank you. Thank you for fucking paving the way again. All these people on YouTube. I seen God smack twice on YouTube. Fuck you. Stay home, fuck you. Okay, so, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna sing this fucking strong with me. We're gonna close this show out right. And if you do your job, and you do it fucking great. I mean fucking, I wanna feel this place fucking rumble. I promise you one thing. When we go to your favorite fucking place tomorrow in Chicago, Illinois, I promise you, if you do your fucking job, I will be the first guy to stand on that fucking stage and tell them that they are a bunch of goddamn pussies compared to this fucking crowd. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. So. I'm gonna give you one chance. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck it up. Look at this, man. Come here. Can I borrow this little man right here? Come here. I need to show you guys something. Just in case you're not feeling like, come here. Come up here, my man. Oh, there's another one there. You wanna come up? Come here, man. Oh my God, this is amazing. Look at this. This is like a whole new fucking generation going on here. Woo Get up here. You guys are gonna help me out. Scanning. You're all too fucking old to be on the stage. You stay there. And protect the barricade. What's your name? Sebastian. Oh, this is Sebastian. What? Bree. Bree? Like Bree? Okay, fine. Come here. You guys are gonna be my judge, okay? We're gonna see if this crowd, your crowd, can be the loudest crowd on this tour. You up for it? Don't look scared. Give them the metal horns or something. Do something. The funky chicken. Okay. Look at this kid's eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the future of rock and roll right here, just in case you don't know, okay? If they stink, you give them a big fat thumbs down, okay? You're gonna be my judge and jury. If they're good, we'll give them a little treat, okay? We good? You look petrified. Come here, man. I'll give you back to your mom in two seconds if you tell me who your favorite band in the whole world is. Godsmack. You're damn right.
Okay, let's hear it. I'm doing the best I ever did. Not so good, right? I told you. I knew they'd mess it up at least once. Do we have your attention now? Should we give him one more chance? Okay. I'm doing the best I ever did. No way. I'm doing the best that I can. No way. I'm doing the best I ever did. No way. I'm doing the best that I can. Come on! No way. I'm doing the best I ever did. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing the best I ever did. Green Bay, Wisconsin, wow. Who would have ever known? Well, I just want to say one more time, thank you guys for 25 years of support, and loyalty, and love. You guys were one of the first cities on the map for us way back in 1998, man. So thank you so much for being here for all these years. We so appreciate it. And uh, I want to just take a second here before we finish out the show for you guys. Because we do want to do at least a couple more songs, right? I'm thinking. At least. At least one. Two. Let's do two. Okay. All right, fine. We'll do three. Fuck it.
I have nothing else to do but to play rock music for you guys. Other than this, I go and eat fucking pasta and fall asleep and fucking end up drinking too much goddamn tequila and then I find myself, you know, watching these stupid infomercials and next thing you know I'm buying the fucking Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty skin line fucking trying to get rid of the, the neck wrinkles. <laughs> Anyways, um, on a more serious note, I want to say that this song that we want to play for you guys right now was a song that was written about five or six years ago and it had a certain purpose when I wrote it. Obviously, I write about things that happen to me on an emotional level, whether it's good or bad. And uh, the song kind of went and grew, it grew up to be a lot bigger than the band itself. And it helped us develop our first nonprofit organization called the Scars Foundation. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know what that's about, it's here on the side of the piano. I conveniently placed a QR code for you right there. You can even take a picture of it if you don't want to do anything about it now and take it home with you because it's a very important cause. It's something that we've been working 24 seven on for the last six years. We have some amazing partners with us now and uh, we are working on a global level now to help multiple categories because I'm not sure how some of you guys feel about this, but we lost a lot of friends along the way in these 25 years and more to things like addiction and suicide and stuff like that. So the Scars Foundation helps with all things mental illness. <laughs> suicide prevention, severe depression, addiction, bullying, PTSD. So if you guys can help us, great. If you can't, we understand. But at least come on board with us and be a part of the community because sometimes just sharing your stories helps other people come out and voice their stories and that's where we start to make a difference. That's when we start to save lives, okay? So be a part of this movement with us, man, it's important. And for that, our gift to you is this song called Under Your Scars. Do we make sense? I think we do In spite of everything that we've been through When you say black And I say white It's not about who's wrong As long as it feels right Don't think those lies won't
So we're going to take a second here to not only remember some of the people we lost in our lives, but to remember some of the greatest artists that graced us with their presence once, left us with some of the most amazing music we've ever heard, People like Chris Cornell, Chester Bennington, Amy Winehouse, Dimebag Darrell, Eddie Van Halen, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. So what we're gonna do is send them something back for all they gave us, for creating that music that's become the soundtrack to our lives. So we sing. We send some energy back up there and remind them that we're still down here waving the rock and roll fucking flag for them. So let's create some energy for them, okay? Oh. Thank you. 
that's freaking me out Just because there's no surprise You can't do anything now One more song. One more fucking song! Okay, Green Bay, show us what you got. Let's go!
time, Green Bay. Thank you very much.